Venom from the side. Believe it or not, I've never drawn this image. It's crazy. It was like one of the most popular posters, I think, of any sort of Marvel movie. You know, with his face and all the teeth and stuff. I've never drawn it. Well, I'm going to draw it now. So I'm on a landscape page. This would work on a portrait because I'm going to like stop it kind of here because the poster is portrait, but I just have landscape paper handy. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser for these and hit pause if I go too fast. So I'm going to start with his eye, right? Center point of my page is here. Come up over to the right hand side and we're just going to go with that gnarly sort of eye that he's got that oozing sort of eye right this can be done anyway like just all these spikes and crazy stuff right general sort of raindrop sort of or like a ghost or ectoplasm or something that kind of looks you know you could put a little ghost face there <laughs> right now, there's all textures and stuff around his skin, but we'll just we'll get like the shape for his head and his mouth, right? So you got his lip that comes this way and goes up like a big joker sort of smile kind of lip. Right in the top of his lip, you know, it's got all this ooze and textures and bumps and everything there. And then this becomes his head, which goes around the back. And this eventually will become like his neck sort of thing, which goes off in there. So his bottom jaw, right, open real wide. So it comes down this way. And it's all the way down to the bottom of my page, right? So it keeps going. And it can be a bumpy line. It doesn't have to be like perfectly straight or anything. So his mouth's real wide. And then we got his bottom lip and chin. So very thin, real close, stretched out, everything sort of stretched. Right, we have all like textures and stuff. So just his back and his neck and his shoulders and stuff will all sort of go off this way. And say like his neck underneath, we just get these sort of shapes in first. Right, and you'll have like sort of his skull there and then he has like a big shoulder line that will go like down here somewhere right big shoulder going that way right so and you can do as much of that as you want it stops here in the image so I'll stop it there as well and we'll just do like his chest sort of going down here Okay, so it stops kind of here. And that's just all black and white and different shapes. So, what do we do? Right, we'll do like all this sort of ooze that like connects his like jaw together. It's like gnarly sort of lots of these. Connecting sort of tendrils here on his jaw. So you're just going up different sort of thicknesses and stuff. Right, and do as much of this as you want now. There's loads in the in the actual movie poster, and I'll just do mine are kind of thicker, just because we can draw less of them. Okay, and then it's all like black, and sort of you can see some of his tongue and stuff in there. Okay, so then we're gonna start with the top teeth right so we got like his gum line so you can actually see his teeth growing out like I'm just gonna do bumps across first like 
this kind of just to get us sort of some of them go underneath his lip down there just like marking them all in you know where I want them to come out just all these bumps so each of these will be a tooth Okay, I'm going to just make them all sort of spiky now. And some are in behind other ones. You know, he's like great white shark kind of teeth. He's got like layers of them. there all right and then you can see some teeth coming from the other side of his mouth as well so like in under here you got like some teeth in the gum on the other side So just drawing a little of them like that. And then you can see the gap, like the side of his mouth. Go down there. And like maybe another, we'll put another tooth here. Okay. So the teeth on the bottom are kind of like different sort of shape. So... They go in like all different directions and stuff. So we'll just we'll start doing this as best we can. So we can see is the bottom of his teeth. Some of them are real small, and some go out from behind the gum line like that. Okay. And some go in different directions. Alright, some are in behind. This is all like fleshy sort of gum, like so you can do like textures on this. Okay, we just kind of keep going like that. So you just keep adding teeth as much as you want. So you do a curve, curve on the bottom, pointy on the top. Okay. You just do, when I want to start a tooth, I just go curve. And then I just add a spike like that, but kind of like shark fins or something. get real big down near the front then and there's like lots more at the front Like so in behind. Then like so then we have like his gum going this way and it goes underneath his tongue eventually. Up here somewhere. And that means we should have more teeth here as well. Okay, so the big tongue, right? So it's kind of like goes all the way out from like the back of his mouth up here. It's like crazy long, right? And then goes down. And then wraps itself up. And you can go as big or as small as you want, really. And like the inside of it comes out from like his mouth in here, comes down. Around and up like that. OK, 
Okay, and this has like an like an edge and all gnarly sort of bumps and textures on it. So would I just add some more teeth just in behind the tongue here first? One of the first drawings I ever did in this channel was a venom, a simple sort of cartoon like one from a comic. This one's better. <laughs> I've gotten better. It's funny. It's funny how that happens when you do something over and over, you get better. So we got to add textures to all this, right? And again, there's some more like teeth back here, actually. So this is like the side of his face and there's some teeth that goes into his mouth somewhere here. And it's all just dark back in here. Okay, so the tongue disappears sort of down here. We got his gum line. And his tongue goes off and it's all black just back there. So we've got like textures here. You can put textures on the teeth as well if you want. So, but that's a basic drawing. And then we have to add all the texture. So let's go for it. So on the gum, just here, we'll put some textures. We put some textures on his tongue. So we've got like the middle sort of part will go down like this way. And it's got a side to it. Gnarly sort of tongue, right? So like all this ooze and wrinkles and stuff on it. And it all goes back up into his mouth. Do -do -do -do. More texture in here. So you're just adding like loads of lines that follow the shape like this, right? And like on his head as well, there's like all these, just going around the eye. Coming down and he could have like, you know, like bumpy sort of vein like things coming off his head and neck. Stuff like that, you know. I guess it's like symbiote kind of stuff on him as well. Lots of these little veins. Right, and then he'll have like lots of like ooze and stuff coming off his teeth and just sort of hanging down from the tongue and everything. It drips. sticking to his tongue from his teeth, you know, all this. And then you just thicken up sort of your edge lines. I 
So just darkening up some lines that I think should be, just stand out a little bit more. It's mostly the edge, but sometimes it's like, Sometimes it's like inside lines, like his lip and all this. Just darkening up, trying to make him stand out a little bit more. But you can keep thickening up any lines you want, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw venom from the side. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.